Welcome to, the, to New Zealand's opening reception at MPW. We're delighted to welcome you here this evening. The food and beverage industry is the linchpin of New Zealand's prosperity. It is New Zealand's largest manufacturing sector and food and beverage exports have trebled in the last 17 years and are now over 15 billion US dollars. New Zealand is internationally recognized as sustainably producing safe, excellent quality food. A pure environment, clean waters and innovative people combine to make New Zealand one of the great food and beverage producers of the world with a diverse range of products recognized for their high quality, freshness and flavor. Essential to our philosophy and success is our focus on food integrity in New Zealand. Strict food safety laws and regulations ensure its high standards are met from farm and fishing bed to fork. Traceability is a very important part of the food safety equation and New Zealand has invested in the systems and technology to trace food products from importing country to source very quickly. New Zealand specialty food manufacturers produce goods ranging from honey, oil, luxury ice creams and cheeses to organic juices and boutique beers. There are now more than 2,000 specialty food and beverage manufacturers in New Zealand adding value to a broad base of natural products. New Zealand's natural products industry is now larger than our country's wool industry. New Zealand's unique biodiversity, coupled with Kiwi ingenuity and R&D capacity, makes for a powerful combination when it comes to producing natural products with worldwide appeal. There are more than 120 New Zealand bioactive companies or organizations which produce about 6,600 bioactive products and employ over 3,000 people. Because the country is geographically isolated, natural products are pest and disease free. New Zealand's unique biodiversity produces raw materials and ingredients to develop innovative products for the natural products industry. More than 80% of New Zealand's native plants cannot be found in any other part of the world. Tonight is a night about celebrating the best of New Zealand, and we have seen the best of New Zealand when we have been at our worst. In the face of tragedy brought by the earthquake that hit Christchurch in New Zealand last month, our Prime Minister John Key told New Zealanders around the world that our humanity is more powerful than any act of nature. Communities linked together by a can-do spirit of giving can truly achieve miracles of recovery. We have seen such linkages in communities throughout the land of the Silver Fern, and we see it now through our extended communities across the world. We are deeply grateful for the generosity, sympathy, and support we have received, and we grieve for the lives lost and pain and suffering caused. In the rest of New Zealand, life and business continues as we work together to rebuild the Christchurch communities. There are some uh, uh, flyers on some of the tables uh, advising about the Christchurch, Christchurch earthquake appeal and the various charities that I believe are US tax deductible if anyone feels like making a donation to the cause. New Zealand remains open for business, however, and open for tourism. And we appreciate your support with the ongoing trading relationships and hope some of you will make it down to New Zealand later this year for the Rugby World Cup when we will finally, dare I say it, bring the cup home. <laughs> we like to build and strengthen our trading partners and business partnerships in the best possible way. Over a glass of New Zealand wine, did the New Zealand wine arise yet? And some food. Come meet our companies at the New Zealand booth in Hall A, booth 910, and hear more about what they have to offer. And please enjoy, drink, eat and be merry and hopefully do a little business as well. I should just say at this point that there are a number of New Zealand companies uh, also exhibiting here uh, and a range of uh, smaller booths right here. Uh, so have a fantastic evening and I wish you, I wish you all a very successful NPEW. And now uh, I'm culturally obliged as a, an indigenous Māori New Zealand to entertain as well as, in, as inform so please bear with me while I sing a song. Uh, 
I hope uh, that some of my whanaunga and uh, some of my countrymen might help me join, but uh, they're all standing behind me and uh, they sing much better than I do, so you may have to wait for their performance. I thought I would sing a song that was appropriate uh, for uh, in, this, in the context of the Christchurch Earthquake Appeal. <clears throat> Ori pe ka ki au Ti aho mai Raro to i te po E kona o Ti ti roa tu hai Ora mate e o que no hai o coro ma to ri pe ka ki a ti a ho ma raro to i te po e ko na Tiro tu ai, ora mate te 